Korean scientists have built what they're calling a lithium battery killer. Don't know if that's true, but that's what they're saying. It's a supercapacitor that charges in, well, seconds. But the thing is, this supercapacitor, it has some very, very unusual properties. Let's have a look at it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Today, we use lithium batteries and we use sodium ion batteries in some applications, limited so far, but they'll be very common in the next few years. We don't use supercapacitors in for all that many different things. Supercapacitors use electrical charge separation to store energy. They can charge almost instantly and withstand more cycles without degradation, say some experts. Current technology, though, doesn't resolve this issue, though, of supercapacitors, which is relatively low energy density. And that means the energy stored is insufficient to power devices for extended periods of time. That's why you don't see them in electric cars. I mean, people have thought that supercapacitors would be used in electric cars. Big problem here is energy density. Scientists at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, which is called KIST, have created a new supercapacitor that tackles this issue and is said to have solved it. This new supercapacitor is meant to overcome the energy density issues with supercapacitors that have hindered their widespread adoption in many devices. It could not just necessarily electric cars, but also watches, phones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So first, what exactly is a supercapacitor? Well, a supercapacitor is consists of two conducting plates separated by an electrolyte solution charged particles or ions suspended in a liquid. When connected to a power source, the electrolyte's ions separate, accumulating positive ions on one plate. In contrast, the negative ions gather on the other plate. Interesting engineering says that energy is held in the form of an electric field established between the two plates. The ion separation happens pretty much instantaneously. This gives supercapacitors the ability to charge and discharge incredibly fast. Since there are no chemical reactions involved, supercapacitors are exceptionally durable. However, because the energy is stored via ions, they can't hold as much total energy per unit volume or weight. The researchers actually overcame this by creating a composite material combining single-walled conductive or polyaniline PANI. Now, it included CNTs, and CNTs are highly conductive and provide a robust structural framework, say the researchers, for the batteries. The PANI molecules act as tiny energy cells chemically bonded to the CNTs throughout the supercapacitor structure, enabling a higher energy density. The setup enhances not only the supercapacitor's energy storage capacity, but also its ability to deliver power. The researchers found their supercapacitor maintained stability in performance after more than 100,000 charging discharging cycles. That's probably, let's say these batteries were used in an electric car, that would give you theoretically about 100 years of battery life. Further, the supercapacitor demonstrated high durability in high voltage environments. Now, I should, I should disclose, this doesn't mean the batteries are actually going to last for 100 years, but theoretically, they could potentially. The composite fibers showed high mechanical flexibility, meaning its shape could be manipulated by rolling and folding. And these characteristics mean that the supercapacitor can be used in place potentially of existing lithium batteries. Now there is currently a video on YouTube. It says how this new supercapacitor will replace lithium ion batteries. Will it actually do that? Probably not, to be honest with you. Now, don't get me wrong, these supercapacitor batteries, or I should just say supercapacitors, they do definitely do have the potential to charge devices in the future. Will they replace lithium-ion batteries in energy storage or electric cars, which is where most batteries go? No, it's extremely unlikely. Could they be used in things like this? Devices, mobile phones? Absolutely. Very, very possible they could be. But at this point in time, this battery is simply in the stage of, you know, very early development. There's no actual mass manufactured product yet. Uh, there's no real full details from the company, but I think it is, is, is exciting. And the reason I did this video is simply to show you that batteries are not just being, we're not just pushing through boundaries with lithium ion batteries, with sodium batteries, with solid state batteries, with hybrid sodium and lithium batteries, with, there's so many different types of batteries with 
vanadium flow batteries, but supercapacitors are that other that other little niche that I think we often forget about. And there is a lot happening in this sector. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Bye-bye. Recently, there's been a new supercapacitor discovery. Now, many people are saying that this is a game changing energy storage marvel that we should be paying attention that you need to know about these new supercapacitors. So here's what they actually are. And here is why people say they are in fact game changing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. These new ultra micro supercapacitors showcase superior energy storage, which is the big problem with supercapacitors and a potential for a revolution in device power sources. It could drastically change things from uh, cars down to mobile phones and even watches. Researchers at the Department of Instrumentation and Applied Physics, Indian Institute of Science, have designed a novel, as in completely new, ultra micro supercapacitor, a tiny device which is capable of storing a huge amount of electric charge. Now, if we just increase the size of this device exponentially, you could potentially have a battery pack here that would really work in an electric car and be able to charge in one to two minutes. This device is much smaller and more compact than existing supercapacitors, and it can potentially be used in many devices, ranging from streetlights to consumer electronics, electric cars, and even medical devices. Most of these devices are currently powered by batteries. However, over time, these batteries lose their ability to store charge and therefore have a limited shelf life. Capacitors, on the other hand, can store electric charge for much longer by virtue of their design. For example, a capacitor operating at five volts will continue to operate at the same voltage for well over a decade. But unlike batteries, they cannot discharge energy constantly to power a mobile phone, for example. So what's the actual advantage of supercapacitors? Why is everyone talking about them? And why is this particular device game changing? Here it is. Supercapacitors, on the other hand, combine the best of batteries and capacitors. They can store as well as release huge amounts of energy and are therefore highly sought after for next generation electric devices. Now they can also release energy incredibly quickly, in fact, much more quickly than a standard lithium ion battery can. That has benefits in things or areas that require huge amounts of power, such as electric airplanes, 